to my heartbeat sound. Welcome back to BT. If you are enjoying the summer season, well, it's time to get your summer health toolkit, if you will. Our expert, our health expert, Bryce Wild, back with us. Nice to see you. Yes, nice to see you, sir. Uh, lots yeah. to cover off when it comes to eating, exercising, but uh, movement, especially dealing with this heat, hydration is such a huge factor. Hydration is huge. And so, you know, there's a lot of drinks out there available uh, for us to consume, many of which have way too high sugar. And just by looking at them, look so artificial and probably not good for you. You've been trained to believe maybe there's something to them that we need as either athletes or weekend warriors are just out there trying to beat the heat. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'd say ditch those. Anything that's got the color and uh, alter, you know, uh, non-natural and, and uh, preservatives and, and uh, colors. And go and try to make your own at-home electrolyte drink. And here's how you do it, okay? So this is just water. And it's brown color because of the molasses. Molasses is tr tremendously high in potassium, which is wonderful for your body. You need that as an electrolyte to replenish. And then you take a lemon and a lime, squeeze that in fresh, and some Himalayan rock salt. And why Himalayan rock salt? The pink rock salt has got a lot of trace minerals that also act as electrolytes. The only other thing I do to add to this mix is a 500 milligram uh, magnesium. And I literally mix that in. And what that'll do is top off all the necessary electrolytes that your body requires, okay? And then ultimately you just, you can put that into a bottle of water, shake that up and take that on the go. And if you are going out for extended periods of time to, to run or exercise, how many of those are, are we drinking? Yeah, so that, that one eight ounce glass with a, about a half a teaspoon of black strap molasses, half a lemon, half a lime. We'll have it up on the BT website, the instructions or the recipe, and a, and a quarter teaspoon of the Himalayan rock salt. And you've got all the electrolytes your body needs for the day. Set. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, barbecuing. Everybody's doing yeah. it this season. Everyone's out grilling. What should we keep in mind? What we need to keep in mind are something called HCAs, or heterocyclic amines. These are real disease causing, even cancer causing molecules, and they occur when we overcook our meat. Okay, whether it's, uh, in fact, vegetables as well, or tofu for that matter, whether it's grilling uh, red uh, meat or whether it's fish, uh, as I mentioned, tofu, anything, if you char it or blacken it, you are causing, uh, a, you know, an extreme amount of HCA accumulation. You ingest that, and that's actually what the flavor is that we kind of like. Mm -hmm. uh, you're actually contributing to all types of disease potential. Okay, okay. the reality is we want to keep our grills less than 500 degrees or around the 500 degree mark. Anything above 575, that's when those HCAs really start to ramp up on the food that we're consuming. Now, a few ways to keep that down. You probably haven't heard of this one before, but it's uh, Malaysian. It's got to be Malaysian because it's a real sustainable type of oil. Malaysian red palm fruit oil. And literally just glazing your meat with this palm oil, it's got what are called tocotrienols in there, or your fish for that matter. You can glaze any meat or fish. You are actually not only protecting the meat is a powerful antioxidant, but this stuff has a very, very high smoke point, 550 degrees uh, and, or even up to 575, okay? So it's going to protect the meat, give you antioxidants. Same with uh, um, avocado oil. So avocado oil has a, about a 550, 500 to 550 smoke point. And a smoke point is the point at which beyond uh, that degree of temperature Fahrenheit, you can see that, uh, you know, that real rancid smoke coming up. That's actually disease causing and you're denaturing the oil, causing oxygen. To so that stuff like oil. olive oils and stuff. Yeah, you don't want to use olive oil or even the very popular coconut oil these days, which also, by the way, has a, a flavor to it. This is not meant for cooking or grilling beyond 350. And we all grill our meats beyond that point. Now, another tip, use spices. So these guys here protect against those HCAs. And as I've made a little note here, uh, you know, rosemary, thyme, the Scarborough Fair, right? Um, these are protected by using those spices up to uh, 90%. You mm. know, moving over here, fresh garlic, uh, um, uh, this is onion powder. These guys here will protect between 94 and even 70% when we add that to a marinade or right on top of our grilled meats. So protecting against cancer and oxidative stress in the body. Excellent. Okay, yeah. so listen, we only have about uh, 15 seconds sure. left, but when it comes to exercise and antioxidants, so I'll keep it real simple. What's the key tip? If you are working out using weights, weight bearing for that particular day or morning, you want to take your antioxidants after your workout routine. Why after? Okay. Why after is because the purpose of doing weight bearing activities is to make micro tears in the muscles so the muscles naturally heal and we grow bigger or stronger or faster. If you take antioxidants before you work out using weight bearing activity, you're literally protecting against that very effect. And 
so the muscles can't do that little breakdown and repair. If you're doing aerobic activity or going for a run, then actually what you want to do is take your antioxidants before you go out. Okay, so right. if you want to build the guns for the, That's the right. gun show at the beach, <laughs> right. antioxidants after. after right? Okay, yeah. good tips. Yeah, yeah, thanks thank so much you. All right. for coming by. By the way, I love the lavender <laughs> blazer too. <laughs> thank you, sir. That's good for your summer toolkit as Not well. all men can wear lavender. Like You're owning it. Uh, we'll take a break. More to come here on BT. Stay tuned. Thanks, Bryce. Yeah, thank you.